Love is a temporary madness. It erupts like volcanoes and then it subsides. And when it subsides, you have to make a decision. You have to work out whether your roots have so entwined together that it is inconceivable that you should ever part. Because that is what love is. Love is not breathlessness, it's not excitement, it's not the proclamation of eternal passion. That's just being in love, which any fool can do. Those that truly love have roots that grow towards each other underground, and when all the pretty blossoms have fallen from their branches, they find that they are one tree, not two. When I wake in the morning, will you kiss my face with a smile no one has ever seen? When I wake in the morning, will you kiss my eyes and say it's you I've loved all these years? It is you I've loved all these years. Mm. But um, the problem with having a best friend who is actually the best friend is that you start to think that no one is good enough for them. Enter Eric. Other than my dad and my mom, uh, I would say that Eric is probably the most uh, loyal, selfless person I know, and I'm very, very proud to be your brother. After living with Eric days, months, years, I've never seen him close to as happy as he is with Nancy now, and it, I just I love you so much for bringing that smile on my face, and uh, that's all I got. so please join me in the toast. Get it right, get it right, get it right, baby, come with me. And when you wake in the morning, I will kiss your face with a smile no one has ever seen. When you wake in the morning, I will kiss your eyes and say it's you I've loved all these years. I Whoa! <laughs> Oh, you're beautiful. Thanks, Dad. You're beautiful. You look so beautiful. You look so sexy. Oh, thank and you. Beautiful. You're all grown. I wandered into a barber shop one day, <laughs> and I never would have imagined that I would have met a girl who could have fascinated me as much as you have. <laughs> I, I, can I? <laughs> I Hi, you, babe. Oh my God! You look stunning. Thanks, babe. Nancy and Eric have been through quite the journey as partners. Although they both grew up in Southern California, Nancy was located in Austin at the time they first met. After a year and a half of long distance dating, many back and forth flights to see each other, then followed by a mutual move to Dallas and a final relocation to Austin, these two were moving and shaking to make things work. They were committed to building the strong foundation that we're all looking at right now. By the way, I did a little bit of number crunching. If you multiply the round trip mileage between Austin and San Diego by the frequency of their visits for a year and a half, it equates to approximately 48,000 miles, which is equivalent to two full orbits around planet Earth. <laughs> Many people say the phrase, I love you to the moon and back, but Nancy and Eric are quite literally on their way. I love you. I love you because you steady me. I love you because you make me feel seen, safe, and validated. I love you because you challenge me and I am becoming my best self because of it. I love you because you are the most honest, kind, and supportive person, and the most fair, sweet, and smoking hot man I could have ever asked for. Standing here today surrounded by the most important people in our lives, it is a privilege to marry you. There is a saying that when one door closes, another will open. Today, no door is closing, but the biggest door of my life just opened up. that 
These two have the most disgustingly cute love story. Like, who meets the love of their life at the hair salon? Nancy was casually waiting for her hair appointment to start with her stylist when her casual waiting turned to intensely interested as Eric caught her eye. And I quote, the most visually attractive man until the day she dies. <laughs> Nancy quickly put her stylist Shelby and Eric's stylist Shauna on a mission to, and I quote again, make this happen, queens. <laughs> and look, here we are today. Those queens sure did make it happen. <laughs> Wait!